the Nothing Phone 2. All right, so we finally got some renders of the full phone, the Nothing Phone 2. Let's take a look. Let's see what we've got. We definitely have some people that are not super happy about it. I think the main critique right now is is that not much has changed. Which, to be fair, I, I mean, not much changes in generation to generation for phones. So I don't know why this would be any too much different. Where we do see the changes, we do have curved edges and a curved screen now. Or at least that's what it looks like from these renders. Nothing has been confirmed as well as nothing has not confirmed that this is true or not. I'm okay with either or. I don't seem to have too big of a preference. I am enjoying the little bit of the curved screen on my Pixel right now. Um, so I'm okay with that. I'm okay with either as long as they upgrade the glass. Um, I'm, I'm not a fan of the Gorilla Glass 2 that they used on the Nothing Phone 1. As long as it is a higher quality glass, that is fine with me. Use curved glass, use flat glass, doesn't, doesn't, uh, doesn't bother me either way. As far as the curved uh, edges. I know that a lot of people really like this. I kind of like the flat edges. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Uh, I think at least when you're when you're holding a phone, you know, without a case on it, I feel like the flat edges is just easier to grip. So, I mean, I kind of like that. We'll have to see what this one looks like. Um, either way, again, I don't think that's like a make or break for the phone, but a lot of people are ac actually excited about that. One spot though where people seem not to be as excited about is the cameras. So we still have the same dual camera setup. Well, and I say the same, as in it looks the same as the Nothing Phone 1. You've got the dual camera setup in the vertical format like that. Uh, no differences as far as the looks go that anybody can really tell at this point. Hopefully it'll be a, a little bit of an upgraded sensor, but honestly, I'm really just hoping for uh, even more software improvements. I think it's been going around the internet now for a little while that, you know, we're getting to the point where almost any camera is, is, is good in these phones. It's even a couple hundred dollars, you're going to get some really, really good pictures. I think the main thing is not that it has a crazy zoom lens. I don't think it matters that it's got five total lenses and a macro lens and this and that. Um, for the most part, and I think uh, me included, but I think for almost everybody else too, it is more important that that when you take your phone out of your pocket and you snap a picture, that it looks good. And and if and I assume that you know the the nothing phone can get that done with only two lenses, then that's perfectly fine. Um, I don't think we need any more. I'm more excited to see what they're doing software-wise for their camera than I am about them adding an extra lens that I don't really need. Keep that price low. And then we've got the differences in the back design. Um, so obviously looking at them side by side, the Nothing Phone 1 and the Phone 2 look very similar. And honestly, if you didn't like study them, if you didn't own the Phone 1, you probably won't notice a huge difference. Um, really the biggest differences is, is the glyphs, the LEDs have been kind of fragmented and separated a little bit. So instead of some, the big, long connected lines all the way around the charging, uh, the wireless charging pad, um, it's, it's a little bit separated. It's a little bit different. So I'm sure they've got a, a nice little new gimmick for those. Um, and as well along the, uh, around the cameras and stuff. Um, so I'm sure that there's something really cool that they're going to do with those. Probably, again, just like the Nothing Phone 1. Useful to some people. Uh, a, a fun party trick gimmick type of thing for everybody else. At, at first, I was a little bit disappointed that it, there wasn't a major new feature. Um, that was one of the things that I said in a previous video would make me insta-buy this phone. But I, I also think that generation to generation, you probably can't expect gigantic brand new features. So here's to looking for the Nothing Phone 3 or maybe even the 4 for something like that. But honestly, looking at these renders, I think they're pretty solid. I think they're decent upgrades to the phone. Um, we know that we're getting the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. We know that we're getting a 4700 milliamp battery. We know we're getting the little bit bigger 6.7 inch screen. But is this going to be a buy, instant buy for me yet? 
Uh, I don't know. We don't have all the information that at least I want to know before I make that decision. You can check out in this video over here the three things that I want I wanted to see that would make me insta buy the Nothing Phone 2. Check that out and see what else I absolutely need to get this phone. Uh, but right now, I don't have all of that information. But as always, as the wait continues for the newest and best phones, make sure that you're enjoying the phone that you're currently using. That's the one that matters the most. Have a good day, everyone. Thanks for watching.